The James Webb Space Telescope has marked a milestone with its revelation of the universe's earliest black hole. Infrared observations unveiled a colossal black hole dating back to when the cosmos was a mere 470 million years old, merely 3% of its present age. Notably, the black hole's mass astounded scientists, measuring at 40 million times that of our Sun, eclipsing Sagittarius A asterisk, the supermassive black hole at the Milky Way's core, by a factor of 10. This breakthrough seemingly resolves a pivotal astronomical enigma, the genesis of the universe's inaugural black holes. Yet, the rapid emergence of such a colossal black hole in the early cosmos remains a profound puzzle. What baffles researchers most about the mass of this supermassive black hole lingering at the brink of time? Crucially, how does this revelation illuminate the inception of the cosmos' first black holes? Unraveling the origins of supermassive black holes has long stumped astronomers. Two theories have been posited to elucidate their genesis. The first posits that these black holes stem from the collapse of primordial stars, dubbed light seeds. However, a temporal quandary plagues this proposition. Evolutionary models suggest that the first stars coalesced roughly 150 million years post-Big Bang. These early stars likely boasted considerable mass, courtesy of the early universe's conditions, affording them roughly 50 million years to evolve and culminate in their life cycle's final stages. Light seeds would likely emerge approximately 200 million years after the Big Bang. However, it's probable that several billion years would elapse before these light seeds amass sufficient matter from their surroundings to burgeon into supermassive black holes. Hence, the James Webb Space Telescope's detection of supermassive black holes within the initial 500 to 700 million years post-Big Bang cast doubt on the light seed model's validity. Could it be plausible that the inaugural black holes swiftly accrued a vast amount of matter, swiftly metamorphosing into colossal black holes? The answer, however, is negated by a constraint known as the Eddington Limit. Accretion is the process wherein the intense gravitational pull of a compact object attracts material from a nearby star towards its center. However, due to the conservation of angular momentum, this material doesn't plunge directly into the core. Instead, it coalesces into an accretion disk encircling the object. As matter accumulates on this disk, gravitational potential energy is liberated resulting in the emission of thermal radiation, often manifesting as X-rays. Nevertheless, for black holes, as this radiation exerts outward pressure, it can reach a threshold where it becomes potent enough to disperse the surrounding matter, arresting the black hole's further enlargement. Once radiation pressure exceeds gravitational force, accretion halts, imposing a constraint on luminosity. This brings us to the second hypothesis regarding the genesis of supermassive black holes, the direct collapse of massive gas clouds into black holes, termed heavy seeds. Initially immense, these gas clouds possess the potential to evolve into colossal black holes within the requisite time frame. However, the stumbling block lay in the absence of concrete evidence substantiating this theory of black hole formation. Herein lies the significance of Webb's data. In unraveling the enigma of the earliest black holes, the James Webb Space Telescope partnered with the Chandra X-ray Telescope, specifically designed to detect X-ray emissions originating from high-temperature regions of the universe, such as the accretion disks surrounding black holes. The most thrilling aspect of this revelation lies in comprehending how we can perceive the black hole. Scientists leverage the magnifying prowess of Cluster Abel 2744, positioned roughly 3.5 billion light-years away from us. This phenomenon, dubbed gravitational lensing, 
transpires when the colossal gravitational pull of foreground entities bends or redirects light emanating from background objects. While this can warp the images of these distant sources, it concurrently amplifies them, facilitating the observation of remote entities with enhanced precision. Telescopes such as Hubble and Webb capitalize on this innate magnification to scrutinize objects that would otherwise evade detection. The initial image highlights the expansive cluster lens Abel 2744, with a small square box pinpointing the location of Z1, housing the massive black hole. Subsequently, the following image unveils the breadth of X-ray emissions emanating from the galaxy and its vicinity. Upon scrutinizing the X-ray spectral attributes of the accreting black hole ensconced within Z1's core, astronomers approximated its mass to be approximately 40 million times that of the Sun. There are four pivotal reasons why this study holds significance. Firstly, it bolsters the heavy seed theory, indicating that such early massive black holes originate from the direct collapse of vast gas clouds. Secondly, the galaxy harboring this black hole presents a distinctive case wherein its stellar mass closely aligns with the mass of its black hole. This categorization labels it as the inaugural outsized black hole gap galaxy, or an OBHG, marking a rare phase in galaxy evolution characterized by the presence of a heavy seed. This phase endures until a transition occurs, altering the mass ratios to levels comparable to those observed in the local universe. Thirdly, the study underscores the recurring importance of gravitational lensing. Gravitational lensing not only facilitated the discovery of this unique black hole, but also unveiled Arendelle, the most distant individual star known to date. Identified to date, lastly, considering the universe's age of about 13.8 billion years, the recognition of a black hole in Z, one dating back to when the universe was only 470 million years old, positions it as the earliest black hole ever discovered.